Yo, what's up? I'm playing... Oh, this guy, Jorge, man. He's a tough opponent. This guy... Uh, he gets a good position. In the, he gets a solid position in the French against me, usually. So I'm in the middle of some rant of something else, and then the, the video started as soon as I was ranting. So I'm a little... I'm a little, an I'm a little antsy right now. Uh, bishop c4 is the move, right? Queen e2 and knight e4. We've had this. We've had this game before. I'm pretty sure. I think this position is like slightly better for white. Really? For real? F five, really? All right, I don't know. Um, let's go here. It's a surprising move, F five. I gotta just make sure he doesn't get E five in. What's he gonna do? King H eight. The truth, ICC. What you, what you, LOLing about? My hatred for hyper bullet tournaments. Probably. Oh, I'm gonna just go here. Well. I want the other rook in d1 is the problem. Let's think. Bishop e3. Rook e1 just looks looks a little artificial, but I'm going to play it. I just have a feeling he can go e5 anyway, but I could be wrong. I don't see how he can do it, but I'm kind of scared that he can. What are you guys all talking about? What up, yo, yo dog, for him? Hyper bullet, it's fine. Hyper bullet, you can't have. You gotta have a. It's not this. You should have a hyper bullet and a bullet tournament at the same time. That's all I'm saying. Like they're so different. There needs to be a freaking every every half hour. There needs to be a bullet tournament, hundred percent of the time. I don't even I don't even understand what this guy's doing. Like knight g five is almost winning. I'm just gonna do it. I I don't know. <laughs> like cause queen h five coming, and then I can maybe take on e six in some positions. Uh, it's a little lazy, but I just it just looks like I might be winning. Or maybe you can go rook e seven. I don't know, man. Rook e7 looks like the best bet. And then maybe maybe I was being a little over eager. But it still looks very good for me. Like queen h5 and queen h4. It's down on time also. I'm not a big fan of going for an attack like this with a, with a piece that's totally undeveloped here in c1. But I think I think it's worth it. I mean, the guy played f5. It's like a psychotic move. So, so what now? I'm just gonna do this. He's gonna have to go h6, and I'm probably gonna play like just develop my bishop somewhere. I don't know where. Like bishop f4. I can take a pawn, but I just somehow I don't care. I'm just gonna go bishop f4. See what he does about it. I don't really want to take pawns right now. I just want to crush him. Because his king is like totally exposed. If he goes e5, I go knight f7, king h7, probably like bishop. Actually, I thought I had something better. It's interesting. I can't find like a force mate. I can just. I can't, I'm just going to do that. Maybe I'll just take on e5. I'll check one more time though. Make him think I'm taking a draw. Jesus Christ, Queen G6 is like the most basic checkmate ever. Uh, so I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I'm just annoyed that I didn't see it right away. Boom! I'm sorry, I'm in a crummy mood. But I'm going to win at least. I usually don't crush this guy like this. He's, he's a dangerous opponent usually, but this game he played like garbage. I mean, F5 was just bad, bad move.
bad move. I, I don't know what you should do instead. This position is, I think, supposed to be slightly better for, for white. Uh, there was some Chinese grandmaster who played this against a much lower rated player and won. I don't know who this guy is. He's always been anonymous. Anyway, we win. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye.